Welcome back everybody, this is Lois back with the next video of Bootstrap Essential Training Series. So in the last video we created this Bootstrap web page, we used the grid, we used the Jumbotron and we created this navigation bar. Let me show you, it's completely responsive so we get this uh, button on the top as well which will toggle on our menu bar. And then if I take this to tablet version and then it, the image is changed to 2 create two images per row and then we get the one image when we see this in the mobile site. So this web page is completely responsive and in this video we are going to look at a few more classes that are available in Bootstrap so we could customize the look of our image such as we're using the thumbnail class right now which are giving us this, this nice border and let's just go to the code now and here in the images when we create a div we use the class and after we create another div and we give a class of thumbnail and align center right so if we delete this thumbnail let me just uh, select all the instance of this and let's delete this let's save the page and refresh it and now the images are actually showing for the actual size so actual size is pretty big so what we need to do here there are three classes that I want to introduce to you guys first class is, is image responsive which will change the image size according to the placeholder we have for that and then I have the three classes image rounded image circle and image thumbnail now let's look at them well instead of just putting those classes in the div class we can just use the image tag and put the class here so let's just press alt I'm actually going to select this uh, instance of this all of the alt and then we will just use our arrow key to write now type class and then inside that image dash responsive let's save the file and actually it didn't write so let me just undo class is equal to add double quotation image dash responsive alright let's save the file and now let's go refresh the page and as you can see our images are back into the grid it is uh, responsive and now let's look at the images they automatically adjust the size of the image now one problem we have here we need to give the margin top and bottom for the image so let's just put it here and what we can do to put the margin in, we can access this class into our own style.css and customize that now let's go to the style.css file and here I want to target that class image dash responsive and let's just give a margin so let's type margin and the first value is going to be for the top which is going to be 15 pixel second is right so it goes like clockwise so 0 and then 15 pixel for the bottom and then 0 for the left let's save the file and let's refresh it and we should have the nice margin according to our gutter in the middle that's what because we're getting that gutter because of our grade so as you can see we don't have any border anymore so we can just show the images now let's go back to index1.html and now there's another class circle let's look at that so within this responsive class I'm just gonna select all the instance of this and use the arrow key to write so let's give a space here and then let's use image dash circle class let's save the file and now our images will turn into circles so according to the size it's showing as an eclipse but it's a circle which try to round the image properly so it's because of our grid size let's just expand this and as you can see it's completely responsive size are adjusting according to the browser width let's put it back here and I'm gonna open the same page in Chrome let me just find that page Let's right click reveal in explorer and we can open this with chrome browser and let's look at it is there any difference between it so okay so this is the page in the chrome browser and there you go it looks the same thing the bootstrap is across uh, platform so your page will look the same 
Okay, let's close this. And now we've seen the circuit class, and there is another class we have in the bootstrap called thumbnail. Now we use the thumbnail class into a div, but what if we want to use the thumbnail inside of our image stack? So what we can do here, I'm going to select all the instances of circle. Let's just control D, command D on the Mac, and let's use the arrow key to start writing. So we'll just say image dash thumbnail let's save the file and now we should have the border there now as you can see it's a nice border around our circular or elliptical images nice okay so this is another way that you can customize your images there are three classes you can use the image rounded if you want to use the let's just uh, select all of them and we'll just skip rounded save the file let's refresh it and now as you can see the corners of the borders are rounded now so if we just delete all of these instances of uh, thumbnail hopefully I've deleted all of them Let's, and there you go so you see this the corners are rounded you can even customize them into your own style by targeting that dot image dash respond a rounded class so these are the three properties I wanted to show you guys in this video. So yep, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Chase.